All right, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the best way to generate leads in Google Ads in 2022 for service-based businesses. Now, this is for service-based businesses. Please keep in mind, specifically the skilled trades, this is not meant for e-commerce. So take it with a grain of salt when you hear my recommendations. So the best setup that I could recommend for service-based businesses would be a highly targeted search campaign with an extensive list of ad groups and dedicated landing pages. And this produces the best results for us. We see time and time again that not nothing really matches it unless you're doing a very extensive, like maybe display campaign, YouTube campaign. Th those could be this type of campaign uh, in terms of like the long run, but there's a lot of setup that goes behind it. And, and you have to really be on the ball when it comes to A-B testing your uh, display ads, your YouTube ads, stuff like that. If you're not, it's gonna fail miserably. So what is a search campaign? What is, you know, what does all this mean? A search campaign allows you to run search ads. So here we can see under, when we've typed in the word HVAC company near me, we can see all these search ads. This is a search ad, this is a search ad, this is a search ad. So when someone types in a keyword that you wanna pop up for, these are the search ads, these are the places that you'll pop up for. Um, that being said, we only wanna target high intent buying keywords. So we don't wanna go after HVAC tips and tricks, uh, HVAC DIY, stuff like that, that really doesn't indicate the, buy, uh, the person on the other end of the screen is gonna buy our product. We wanna target keywords that, are, that have high buying intent. So HVAC company near me, furnace repair near me, AC repair near me, stuff like this that shows high buying intent and that the consumer is looking for a company to solve their problem. Now we accompany this with a large list of ads and essentially what you do is you put these keywords inside of ad groups and each ad group has specific ads that can be shown. So each keyword, you wanna have a very select few of group of keywords in each ad group that are essentially very close, closely knit together. So when you write an ad for these specific keywords, so say in your side of your ad group, you have furnace repair, furnace repair near me, furnace companies near me. When you write an ad for this, you can be very specific and this allows you to be very targeted and very relevant to the consumer when they come, when your ad pops up for the keyword they typed in. So when they type in furnace repair near me, they get an ad that says, looking for furnace repair near me, we have HVAC techs on standby, we can solve your problem in a matter of hours or something like that. Something that's very, very relevant to them. And after they see your ad, you need to provide them with somewhere to go. So after they click on it, are you sending them to a website? Or are you sending them to a landing page? We recommend landing pages because they convert significantly higher than websites. A normal website converts anywhere from one to 5%. A landing page converts anywhere from 10 to 40%, depending on how good your landing page is. So it's really worth having a dedicated landing page to make your customer's experience as seamless as possible. So that essentially goes over what our recommended setup is. That's what we use the vast majority of the time and we see phenomenal results uh, day in and day out with it. It's a fantastic campaign provided it's set up correctly. Now I'm gonna run over the benefits and the cons of it. Uh, there's a lot of benefits, there's a few cons, but more benefits than cons. So to start off, you can get very high quality leads. And when people are searching for your, their problem to be solved, so if say they have, you know, they're looking for a pool installation, you can target the keyword pool installation. And these people you can show your ad to, you know these people have a problem. You're just putting your ad in front of them, being the first one there, and you can solve their problem. They can go to your landing page, they can get in contact with you. So you can generate very high quality leads very quickly. The next thing is the quickness of Google Ads. You can have leads generated within, you know, a few days within launching, maybe in the same day as launching, depending on how quickly Google Ads approves your account or your ads, I should say. Um, very, very quick to generate leads. So it's a fantastic resource. I don't really know of any other platform. You could argue maybe social media, but social media people really aren't looking on social media to buy things. When people go to Google, they're typing in what they want this is a product or service they want and they're looking to buy. Social media, not so much. So I don't know of really any other advertising platform that allows you to generate high quality leads as quickly and as consistently as Google Ads. That being said, consistency is another thing. If you have a campaign and it's optimized and it's running well, you can consistently generate leads month in and month out for years on end. And it is amazing how reliable Google ads can be, provided you're not like maxing out with ad spend. Like usually there's like right around a $10,000 cap where you start to see diminishing returns in ad spend. But that being said, you can consistently see uh, leads coming in 
every single month with very little change in uh, the amount. So that's another very great, uh, another very good benefit of Google Ads. Another thing is you can really speak to your customer, like I said before, with highly targeted keywords, with highly targeted ads and a very targeted landing page, you can literally speak to that individual customer as if you were there and sell them on your service and why you're great. Whereas other ads really can't do that. If you're doing call only ads, they have a very limited space and they can only click to call that you can't really sell them there. You have to sell them on the other end of the phone. So that's a that's an issue with other types of ads, whereas search ads really can go in depth and uh, really explain to your customer why they should pick you. Another thing is very high conversion rates with these accounts. Uh, if you're looking at display campaigns, if you're looking at maybe even YouTube campaigns, your conversion rates may not be that good to start off with. And you really have to A-B test your uh, videos, your actual graphics in the display campaigns. And it's not as easy to do as a search campaign. And with search campaigns, you can rel relatively easily have a high conversion rate. It's not very difficult to do, provided you know what you're doing. Another thing is that it's simple to maintain, whereas a lot of campaigns, they're not as simple. Maybe you could argue a Google, ad, um, Google call only ads might be a little bit more simple to do, but once you have everything up, you have your tracking set up, your landing page set up, there's not a whole bunch of stuff that you really have to consistently do that takes a lot of time to uh, maintain. So it's relatively simple to maintain once you have it up and running. Another thing is, it's not overly complicated to set up if you've done this before. If you haven't done this before, chances are it's going to be a little bit more complicated. You got to get your, you know, call tracking set up. You have to build out the account. You have to make sure uh, your normal tracking is set up properly. You have to make sure your dedicated landing pages are set up properly. Uh, but it's not super complicated when you compare it to display campaigns and YouTube campaigns where you're trying to drive traffic to, you know, a lead funnel where you, you're getting an email and then you're going to send those people, you know, an email uh, sequence and then maybe some of those will convert and then you can book calls with them. It's a lot more simple than that. Another great thing about search ads are it's a long enough funnel to get rid of accidental calls. So if you're using call only ads, chances are you're going to have a few people just click on them by accident. With with search ads, they're going to have to go to the landing page, scroll down a little bit, click on call, and then call you. So there's, it really gets rid of a lot of the accidental calls, which is kind of nice, and it gets rid of quite a few of the people who aren't really meant to call you. So the last thing under benefits is it really is a great way of having a good return on investment. Are they the most profitable things in the world? No. There's other advertising platforms that are cheaper and more profitable, but if you think about it, uh, you can generate a lot of referrals from these ads, especially if you're good at business and you're, you know, you're good to talk to and the people like you. It's a wonderful way to always have people and always have your funnel filled and making sure you're always getting clients in the door. Even though maybe you, you do take a 10 or 20% cut on your bottom line when it comes to the customers you get from the immediate leads, but then again, you're able to generate referrals. So you got to really figure out what a what a real lead is worth to you and how many leads do you need to uh, generate a referral because that may affect how much you're willing to spend with Google Ads. But that being said, it's a great way of generating a lot of money and a lot of clients uh, very quickly for your company. So now the cons for our recommended setup. It is more complicated than a call-only campaign by far. Uh, you do need dedicated landing pages. You do need third-party tr call tracking. You do need normal tracking. You do need, you know, uh, your campaign set up, extensive ad groups. Uh, not saying you don't need all of that with a call only campaign, but generally the setup is a lot easier. So uh, that being said, it is somewhat more complicated than call only ads, and it's not the most user friendly to begin with. Uh, another thing is it can be more expensive than display or YouTube campaign. So in the long run, say you have a YouTube campaign that is set up perfectly and display campaigns that are set up perfectly, but they are you know quite extensive generally when it comes to generating leads and the entire funnel is very complicated generally but say that is set up properly generally youtube campaigns and display campaigns can outperform search ads just because there's less competition with them but that being said youtube and display ad campaigns if you do them wrong you can spend a lot of money and waste a lot of money another thing is the minimum ad spend threshold which is essentially if you're not spending a certain amount on google ads you really shouldn't be using Google Ads just because the optimization period is going to take so long that it's not really worth your money and you're not going to see any results. So with us, we recommend at least $1,000 to $3,000 a month in ad spend, depending on the niche you're in. And uh, that generally gives you enough 
giddy up and go that you can really optimize the account you can see results and you can start seeing leads coming into your uh, business you know within a week or two or even the next day really uh, but that being said there is the threshold you need you do need to spend that amount of money to see results right off the bat if you're not i would recommend going with someone else or a different advertising platform uh, the next thing is certain industries are really really competitive and i would recommend not doing google ads or choosing a different type of campaign uh, just because the cost per click is going to be so expensive that it's really not worth it to you. Most of the skilled trades, most of the service-based businesses, they're not super competitive. Yeah, certain areas can be super competitive, but most of them you can get away with. When I talk about competition, I talk more about, or super high competition, I talk about like marketing companies, digital marketing companies, digital media companies, stuff like that, where they're, a lot of their business comes from online search, so where they're willing to spend you know several hundred dollars per click and it's just absolutely crazy. And there's very little way of being profitable in those industries in that certain campaign. The next thing is, if you don't know what you're doing and you try to set up this campaign, uh, chances are you're gonna lose a lot of money. So please know what you're doing <laughs> or hire someone who doesn't know what they're doing like us. Uh, other than that, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Please know what you're doing. And the final con is you do need to be able to sell. These are advertising leads. These are not um, order taking. Uh, which a lot of people think they are, you need to be able to prove why your customer should go with you instead of the competition. If you think you're just going to pick up the phone and immediately the person's going to buy from you, uh, chances are you're, you're going to waste a lot of money on it and you're going to be very upset. So you got to be able to know how to sell, know how to speak to people. And uh, if you know how to do that, chances are this campaign will work well for you. If you don't, chances are this campaign will fail you. So these this campaign, this campaign setup is the best way to generate leads in Google Ads in 22, in my opinion. Uh, it is absolutely phenomenal. We use them for almost all of our campaigns and clients, and we see fantastic results. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.